Shalom, first of all. Uh, my name is Shmuel. I'm uh, from Jerusalem. I'm Ethiopian, Messianic Jew. I grew up in Israel, but my, my father is a pastor of the Ethiopian congregation of the Ethiopian uh, Messianic Jew. During uh, the years, I grew up in a believer's house, but uh, at the age of 18, I, I just uh, quit the faith. And I asked my parents, how come I am Jew? How come I am uh, also Ethiopian? And now you say you, we are believers in Yeshua? It's complicated. How is it works? I will find him, the God that I'm looking for, and I will go for him. And when I will find him, I'll come and, and tell you about him. When I finished the army, I started to smoke uh, hash, marijuana, alcohol, and uh, parties, girls, all the things, a rebellious life uh, against God. During uh, this time, I was uh, looking for God, for love, for true love. I didn't, I didn't really find it at that moment. And especially in Israel, everybody say, God of Israel, God of Israel. But, uh, but I didn't see it at that time, saw it at that time. Then I, I decided to travel uh, out of the nation. Most of our people go to other nations to search for a love. And this is what I did. And I went to, from uh, Thailand to to United States, and then I came back to Israel, trying to find myself here back. But then I saw that uh, I tried many things, and ev everything was just locked, closed doors. If it's a uh, college or things like this, and then I said, okay, I had enough from Israel, and I didn't find it here. I'll go to the U.S., and this is my last dream. So I'll go to fulfill my dream in the United States. And when I went there, I was working in the, in the clothing store. And everybody was, I saw there, everybody is more busy with money. And it was not, it was not me. I, and there I was more involved in drugs. When the, I arrived to Israel, I was empty. I said, okay, my last dream in America, gone. And then I, I was just looking up, you know, from heaven. God will answer. God, if you are a true God, if you are true God, just come now, or I'm going to finish with my life. Because I was with drugs, I couldn't live life. All people was looking, in my eyes was looking like liars. I saw the lie upon the faces of people. And I cried, God, I want to, to see if you are alive. If you are here, do something, or I'm going to suicide, die. And then at that night, Yeshua himself appeared. And he was a uh, burning light, image burning light, and came to me in my dream and said, and hold my hand and said, Yeshua, I am the life, the truth, and the way. Whoever believes in me lives eternal life. The night, uh, at the night, I woke, woke up with my hands. Uh, up. What happened? And I took the blanket back and I said, What is this crazy thing? Is it? I woke up in the morning full of fire, full of, full, full of the love of God. I was searching for love and suddenly just the whole love of God is in you and you are burning all over and you don't know what to do with all this. First thing, I came to my father, you know what? I preached him and it's not me, it's the Holy Spirit that works, the fire that was and is in me. How come you know the truth and you do not preach it to the neighbors? How come you know the truth and you do not tell it to, to your brothers? How come? And I start to preach it to the... To, he, he was... What happened to, to my son, you know? <laughs> Just suddenly everything changed. And I asked my mother, I remember, Look, this is burning all over. Uh, I, I need to go to a hospital. And then she said, no, no, it's the Holy Spirit. Don't worry. They will say that you are crazy if you go to the hospital. This is the Holy Spirit. I said, yes. And then from that moment, I just uh, shared the gospel everywhere in Jerusalem. Uh, every, everywhere that I go, all over, just share the love of God, the same love that He loved me. Uh, and it doesn't matter. First for the Jew, then to the Gentile. But it doesn't matter. And just share it to everybody. I was in a, in, a, in a friend's house, sister house. Just the Holy Spirit told me, go out, go home. So I said, okay, I obey. So I went out and then I, I got to the bus station. At the bus station, there was a, someone, old man. 
uh, and he asked me, would you, he was carrying uh, bags, he asked me, would you like to help me? And I just carried the bags and uh, went with him home. During our uh, walking on the steps, I start to share with him, I asked him what, how, how old is he, he said he's uh, 84. Do you know that, uh, that uh, God wants you to live more than this? And he was like, thank you, bless you, bless you, start to bless me. Say, you know, God so loves you, he wants to give you eternal life. And then we got home. When we got home, he said, uh, come, come home and drink some water. So I joined him and uh, we start to talk with him. Just slowly, softly, about the love of God. At the end, I asked him, would you like me to pray for you? He said, yes, please, please, thank you. And then I prayed. There was a moment that he was like fighting with a you know, spiritual battle. Then I bind the spirit in the name of Yeshua, every spirit of religion. And then at the end I asked him, would you like to receive Yeshua? And then he said, yes! And I was like, yeah! yeah. And then he just uh, repent and uh, follow the prayer and uh, received Yeshua at that moment. And then uh, after he received, I saw a big smile, you know, just a light shines. And then he started to shine. This is the way that God works here in Israel. And he's alive. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we thank you for all of you that pray for us and, and uh, keep praying, keep standing with us and uh, for the kingdom of God. And we love you all by the love of God, Christ Yeshua, the Savior. Bless you all.